Hello boys and girls, parents and care providers and friends. I am Vincent Thorpe from Northwest Branch Library, Fulton County Public Library. It is story time and today I want to read you a story, The Busy, The Very Busy Spider. I think it's a really interesting story. I hope everybody has been well today. And before we start, let's just kind of stretch you a little bit and let's give yourself a hand for joining us on this day. The Very Busy Spider. The Very Busy Spider. And it is by our author Eric Carley. And let's get into the story. The Very Busy Spider. I'll tell you what it's about after we finish. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a finch post near a farm yard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Yes, the spider is already busy. <laughs> said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ah, didn't want to go for a ride on the horse, huh? Hmm. Busy, busy spinning her web. Moo, moo said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Yep, the spider is pretty busy there spinning a web. Bat, bat, bleep the sheep. Want to run in the meadows? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy. Guess what she was doing? That's right, spinning her well. Too busy for the sheep. Spinning her well. Yep, too busy. Matt, Matt, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy. What was she very busy doing? Spinning her web. That's correct. Did not want to go with the goat. How about that? Spider still busy spinning the whale. That is a busy spider. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy. Say it with me, everybody. Spinning her web. There you go. There you go. Didn't even want to go with the pig that went oink, oink. Ha! Ah, must be pretty busy. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. Guess what, y'all? She was very busy. Come on, say it again with me. Spinning her well. Let's say it again. She was very busy. Spinning her web. Did not want to go with the doggy. How about that? Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. Guess why she didn't answer? 
She was very busy doing what everybody, come on, say it again, spinning her well. Didn't want to go with the little cat. Ah. Out of all the opportunities, the spider, she was very busy spinning her well. Well, quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? You guessed it. The spider didn't answer. She has now finished her well. Hmm. She has finished her well. And then want to go with the goose. Or shall I say duck as well. She was busy. She was focused. Doing what she Needed to do the spider. cock a doo do crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her well. Just like that. Yes. The rooster asked, did the spider want to catch Hesty fly. Ah. And guess what? The spider caught the fly in her finished web. Just like that. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Ah. You know, the moral of this story is that the spider was so busy because the spider was focused on what she needed to do to get a well built. She didn't let any kind of disturbance detractor or any of that she was focused at what she needed to do and a lot of times when we're in school doing our school work we have to focus we have to focus on what we're doing focus on the teacher what she's talking about focus on the board what you're learning and when you focus you'll be amazed at the finished product it would be very beautiful Anyway, thank you boys and girls for joining us, parents and care providers and friends. Again, we read today The Very Busy Spider, and we do hope that you join us again on our next story time. Again, I'm Vincent Thorpe. I am the captain. And who is the captain? The captain is the captain of the ship. What is a ship? A ship is a boat. So we always take our little journey, and you always have a captain to steer the ship. All right, give yourself another hand, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. So glad you joined us, and it was great seeing you all again. Hope to see you again the next time. And right now, we'll say bye. Bye, everybody.